Book Review, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy is a timeless self-help classic that offers practical and actionable advice on time management and productivity. The book is filled with insightful strategies to help readers overcome procrastination, increase efficiency, and achieve their goals. Tracy's writing is clear, engaging, and easy to follow, making it a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their productivity and organization skills. Chapter 1. Set the Table In the first chapter of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of setting clear goals and priorities to maximize productivity and achieve success. He introduces the concept of eating the frog, which means tackling the most challenging and important task first thing in the morning. By doing so, you gain a sense of accomplishment and momentum that propels you through the rest of the day. Imagine the life of Sarah, a successful entrepreneur and renowned chef, who exemplifies the principles discussed in this chapter. Sarah owns a popular restaurant known for its innovative and delectable dishes. She is widely respected in the culinary world for her creativity and dedication to her craft. Let's delve into how Sarah embodies the major action points from Chapter 1. 1. Identify your most significant tasks and prioritize them. Sarah begins her day by reviewing her to-do list and identifying the most critical tasks that need her attention. As a chef and restaurant owner, her tasks can range from menu planning and inventory management to overseeing the kitchen staff and maintaining the quality of the dishes. She knows that her time and energy are limited, so she focuses on the tasks that have the most significant impact on a restaurant's success. 2. Focus on high-value activities that align with your goals. In the highly competitive culinary industry, Sarah understands the importance of innovation and creating a unique dining experience for her customers. While she could easily get caught up in administrative tasks, she dedicates a substantial portion of her time to experimenting with new recipes and refining the menu. She knows that these high-value activities are crucial for maintaining the restaurant's reputation and attracting new patrons. 3. Start your day by completing the most difficult task first to build momentum. For Sarah, eating the frog means diving into the most challenging aspect of her work right away. Early in the morning, she works with her sous chefs to experiment with new flavors and techniques, pushing the boundaries of her culinary expertise. By starting her day with such creative challenges, she sets a positive tone for the rest of the day, knowing that she has already accomplished something significant. As the day progresses, Sarah's laser focus on her priorities allows her to manage her time effectively. She delegates non-critical tasks to her team, empowering them to handle routine operations while she concentrates on her unique strengths and expertise. By leveraging her time wisely, she ensures that her creativity and culinary talents are always at the forefront of her restaurant's success. In conclusion, Sarah's example serves as an inspiration to all readers of Eat That Frog. By setting clear goals, identifying crucial tasks, and prioritizing high-value activities, she has not only achieved remarkable success in her culinary career, but has also maintained a healthy work-life balance. Her dedication to eating the frog has become a key factor in her professional achievements, and her story demonstrates the power of effective time management and prioritization in achieving one's goals. As readers adopt these principles and apply them to their own lives, they can learn to emulate the success of Sarah and achieve their aspirations with focus and determination. Chapter 2. Plan Every Day in Advance In Chapter 2 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy emphasizes the significance of planning and time management as essential elements of achieving success and maximizing productivity. The key concept is to plan every day in advance to stay focused, organized, and in control of your time. By doing so, you can reduce stress, increase efficiency, and make significant progress toward your goals. 
Let's explore how Mark, a successful project manager, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Mark's story. Mark is a project manager at a leading technology company. His role involves overseeing the development of cutting-edge software solutions for clients in various industries. Mark's ability to plan effectively and manage his time has been instrumental in his successful career. 1. Spend a few minutes each night to plan your tasks for the next day. Every evening, before Mark finishes work, he takes a few minutes to review his ongoing projects and evaluate their status. He makes a to-do list for the next day, including specific tasks, deadlines, and priorities. This practice allows him to clear his mind and set the stage for a productive day ahead. 2. Organize your to-do list based on priorities. Once Mark has his to-do list, he categorizes tasks based on their importance and deadlines. He uses the ABCDE method introduced by Brian Tracy in the book. A tasks, high priority and must be done. B tasks, tasks that are important but not as critical as a tasks. C tasks, tasks that would be nice to do but have no significant consequences. D tasks, delegate these tasks to others. E tasks, eliminate non-essential tasks altogether. Mark ensures that he focuses on completing a tasks first, followed by B tasks, and so on. This approach helps him concentrate on the most impactful activities. 3. Leverage the 80-20 rule, focusing on tasks with the most substantial impact. Knowing the value of the 80-20th principle, Mark identifies the tasks that will have the most significant impact on project success. He concentrates on the 20% of tasks that yield 80% of the results. This not only improves project efficiency, but also ensures that his team's efforts are directed toward tasks that truly matter. 4. Review and adjust the plan as needed. Mark understands that flexibility is essential in project management. Throughout the day, he regularly reviews his plan and adjusts it based on unforeseen circumstances, emerging priorities, and new information. By being adaptable, he can stay on track even in dynamic project environments. Mark's disciplined approach to planning and time management has made him a highly respected and effective project manager. His ability to plan every day in advance and prioritize tasks based on their impact has enabled him to consistently deliver successful projects on time and within budget. By emulating Mark's practices, readers can learn the value of taking a few minutes each night to plan their days ahead, organizing their tasks based on priorities, and leveraging the 80-20 rule to focus on high-impact activities. Whether you are a professional, student, or entrepreneur, effective planning and time management are indispensable skills for achieving success and reaching your goals. Chapter 3. Apply the 80-20 Rule to Everything In Chapter 3 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy dives deeper into the 80-20 Rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. This principle states that approximately 80% of the results come from 20% of the efforts. Tracy demonstrates how applying the 80-20 rule to various aspects of life can lead to greater productivity, efficiency, and overall success. Let's explore how Alex, a successful marketing strategist, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Alex's Story Alex is a marketing strategist for a rapidly growing e-commerce company. His role involves developing and implementing marketing campaigns to drive customer acquisition and revenue growth. Alex's keen understanding of the 80-20 rule has been the foundation of his exceptional marketing success. 1. Identify and prioritize the most important tasks that contribute to the majority of your success. 
At the start of every marketing campaign, Alex and his team analyze data from previous campaigns to identify the 20% of marketing efforts that led to 80% of the results. They recognize that certain marketing channels, such as targeted email campaigns and influencer partnerships, consistently outperform others. By prioritizing these high-impact strategies, they optimize their marketing budget and efforts for maximum impact. 2. Eliminate or delegate non-essential tasks that do not align with your goals. To avoid wasting resources on low-impact activities, Alex regularly evaluates their marketing initiatives. He eliminates strategies that have shown little return on investment and delegates tasks that can be handled more efficiently by others in his team. By focusing on what truly matters, they streamline their efforts and achieve better results. 3. Invest your time and energy in high-impact activities. Instead of spreading his team thin across multiple marketing channels, Alex concentrates their efforts on the 20% of activities that bring the most significant results. For example, they invest more time in crafting compelling ad copy and designing eye-catching visuals for their best-performing ad platforms. This strategy allows them to achieve higher conversion rates and a better return on investment. 4. Continuously apply the 80-20 rule to improve efficiency. Alex doesn't limit the application of the 80-20 rule to just the initial stages of a marketing campaign. Throughout the campaign's life cycle, he continually analyzes data and performance metrics to identify which strategies are producing the most significant impact. By making data-driven decisions and adjusting their approach accordingly, they consistently refine their marketing efforts for optimal results. Alex's commitment to applying the 80-20 rule in marketing has led to impressive achievements for his company. By focusing on the most impactful strategies, they have not only achieved higher sales and revenue, but have also strengthened their brand reputation and customer loyalty. Readers can learn from Alex's example by regularly analyzing their own activities and identifying the most critical tasks that contribute to their success. By eliminating or delegating non-essential tasks and investing time and energy in high-impact activities, individuals can significantly improve their productivity and achieve greater success in their personal and professional endeavors. The 80-20 rule serves as a powerful tool to prioritize wisely and make the most out of limited resources, leading to more efficient and fruitful outcomes. Chapter 4. Consider the Consequences In Chapter 4 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of considering the consequences of our actions before making decisions. Understanding the potential outcomes of our choices enables us to make better decisions and align our actions with our long-term goals. Let's explore how Sarah, a successful environmental advocate, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Sarah's Story Sarah is a passionate environmental advocate who has dedicated her life to promoting sustainable practices and raising awareness about climate change. As the founder of a nonprofit organization, she works tirelessly to protect the environment and advocate for eco friendly policies. 1. Think about the potential consequences of each task and prioritize accordingly. When Sarah plans her organization's initiatives and campaigns, she carefully considers the potential consequences of each project. For example, she evaluates whether a particular awareness campaign will effectively engage the target audience and influence them to adopt sustainable habits. By prioritizing projects with higher chances of positive outcomes, she maximizes her organization's impact and resources. 2. Focus on tasks that have positive long-term effects on your goals. Sarah understands that her advocacy work is not just about short-term wins, but about creating lasting change. She focuses on projects that have a sustainable impact on the environment and communities. 
For instance, instead of organizing one-time cleanup events, she invests in projects that establish long-term waste management solutions in local communities. 3. Avoid activities that lead to negative consequences or wasted time. In her journey as an environmental advocate, Sarah has encountered various opportunities and invitations to participate in events or partnerships. However, she carefully evaluates these opportunities to ensure they align with her organization's values and goals. If an event or collaboration doesn't contribute to her mission, she gracefully declines, preventing the waste of valuable time and resources. 4. Consider the trade-offs of each decision. Sarah knows that every decision she makes involves trade-offs. For example, when her organization considers participating in a large environmental summit, she assesses the potential impact of investing resources in that event versus using those resources to support local environmental projects. By weighing the pros and cons, she makes informed choices that best serve her organization's mission. Sarah's thoughtful consideration of consequences and long-term effects has been instrumental in her organization's success. By avoiding impulsive actions and carefully assessing the potential outcomes, she has built a strong reputation for effectiveness and reliability in the environmental advocacy community. Readers can learn from Sarah's example by applying the principle of considering consequences in their own decision-making processes. By taking the time to reflect on the potential outcomes of their actions, individuals can make more deliberate and purposeful choices that align with their personal and professional goals. Whether it's in their careers, relationships, or personal endeavors, thinking about the consequences can lead to better decision-making and a more fulfilling life journey. Chapter 5. Practice Creative Procrastination In Chapter 5 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy introduces the concept of creative procrastination. It involves intentionally postponing or eliminating tasks that have little to no impact on our goals, allowing us to focus on more meaningful and high-value activities. By practicing creative procrastination, we can avoid getting overwhelmed with non-essential tasks and concentrate on what truly matters. Let's explore how James, a successful software engineer, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. James's Story James is a highly accomplished software engineer working for a technology company that develops cutting-edge applications for various industries. With multiple projects and tight deadlines, James understands the importance of creative procrastination in maintaining his productivity and delivering high-quality results. 1. Learn to say no to non-essential tasks and commitments. As a skilled engineer, James is often sought after for his expertise in the workplace. While he values teamwork and collaboration, he has learned the importance of setting boundaries. He politely declines requests to join meetings or activities that do not directly contribute to his current projects. By doing so, he ensures that his focus remains on tasks that align with his goals and responsibilities. Two. Allocate your time and energy to tasks that contribute to your goals. James prioritizes his daily tasks by evaluating their impact on the project's success. He recognizes that certain coding tasks or bug fixes will significantly improve the application's functionality, while others might have minimal effects. By allocating more time and energy to critical tasks, he maximizes the efficiency and effectiveness of his efforts. 3. Avoid distractions and time-wasting activities. In the fast-paced tech industry, distractions are abundant, ranging from social media to casual conversations with colleagues. James is proactive in minimizing distractions by blocking off specific periods for deep work where he can concentrate on complex coding challenges without interruptions. By staying focused, he accomplishes more in less time. 4. Practice strategic delay for better decision-making. 
In complex software development, making rush decisions can lead to errors and inefficiencies. James practices strategic delay, taking the time to gather all relevant information before making critical choices. While it may appear like procrastination at first, the pause allows him to make well-informed decisions that lead to better outcomes in the long run. James's commitment to creative procrastination has contributed significantly to his success as a software engineer. By carefully selecting tasks, saying no to non-essential commitments, and avoiding distractions, he remains focused on projects that drive innovation and deliver value to his company and its clients. Readers can learn from James's example by applying the principle of creative procrastination in their lives. By assessing the significance of tasks and being mindful of distractions, individuals can free up time and mental energy to tackle critical objectives and pursue personal growth opportunities. By selectively delaying or eliminating non-essential tasks, readers can optimize their productivity and find a balance between work, personal life, and self-improvement. Embracing creative procrastination can be a powerful tool for achieving success and maintaining overall well-being. Chapter 6. Focus on Key Result Areas In Chapter 6 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of identifying and concentrating on your Key Result Areas, KRAs. Key result areas are the few critical tasks that directly impact your success and the achievement of your goals. Focusing on these key areas allows you to make significant progress and attain greater results. Let's explore how Emily, a successful project manager, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Emily's Story Emily is a project manager at a global design firm responsible for overseeing various creative projects for clients. Her ability to focus on key result areas has made her an invaluable asset to her company, consistently delivering successful projects on time and within budget. 1. Determine your KRAs and align your efforts accordingly. At the beginning of each project, Emily and her team identify the key result areas that will have the most significant impact on project success. These areas may include client communication, project scope definition, resource allocation, and quality control. By aligning their efforts with these crucial areas, they ensure that their actions directly contribute to project success. 2. Continuously monitor and improve your performance in these key areas. Throughout the project's life cycle, Emily monitors the team's performance in the identified key result areas. She regularly assesses progress, identifies potential roadblocks, and implements necessary improvements. By focusing on continuous improvement in these critical areas, her team becomes more efficient and effective in their project execution. 3. Avoid getting sidetracked by tasks that do not contribute to your KRAs. Emily is well aware of the numerous distractions that can arise during project management. While unexpected challenges may arise, she maintains her focus on the key result areas and avoids getting bogged down by non-essential tasks. By staying on track, she ensures that her team remains aligned with project objectives. 4. Delegate tasks that are not aligned with your strengths. As a project manager, Emily understands the importance of leveraging her team's skills and expertise. She delegates tasks that fall outside her key result areas to team members who possess the relevant skills. This delegation not only ensures that tasks are handled efficiently, but also empowers her team members to grow in their respective areas of expertise. Emily's dedication to focusing on key result areas has led to her reputation as a reliable and successful project manager. By honing in on the most critical aspects of each project, she consistently delivers exceptional results and builds strong relationships with clients and team members. 
Readers can learn from Emily's example by applying the principle of focusing on key result areas in their own lives and careers. By identifying the few critical tasks that have the most significant impact on their success, individuals can prioritize their efforts and make progress towards their goals more efficiently. Whether it's in project management, entrepreneurship, or personal development, focusing on key result areas is a powerful strategy for achieving success and making the most of one's potential. Chapter 7. Obey the Law of Forced Efficiency In Chapter 7 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy introduces the Law of Forced Efficiency, which states that there is never enough time to do everything, but there is always enough time to do the most important things. Embracing forced efficiency helps individuals focus on high-priority tasks and achieve greater productivity by optimizing their time and efforts. Let's explore how Michael, a successful financial analyst, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Michael's Story Michael works as a financial analyst for a reputable investment firm. His role involves conducting in-depth research, analyzing market trends, and providing investment recommendations to clients. In the fast-paced world of finance, Michael's adherence to the law of forced efficiency has been instrumental in his career growth and accomplishments. 1. Be efficient in completing critical tasks to free up time for other important activities. Michael knows that time is a valuable resource, especially in finance, where market conditions can change rapidly. He prioritizes his research and analysis to efficiently gather essential information and make informed decisions. By completing critical tasks promptly, he frees up time for other important activities like portfolio review and client communication. 2. Look for ways to streamline your processes and save time. Recognizing that efficiency is crucial, Michael continually looks for opportunities to streamline his work processes. He leverages financial software and tools to automate repetitive tasks, such as data analysis and report generation. By doing so, he maximizes his productivity and can focus on tasks that require his expertise. 3. Focus on quality and speed when tackling important tasks. In finance, timing can be crucial. Michael understands that delivering accurate and timely information to clients is essential. He strikes a balance between speed and quality by prioritizing tasks based on their impact. High-priority tasks receive his full attention to ensure they are completed efficiently without compromising accuracy. 4. Embrace time management techniques to maintain productivity. Michael follows various time management techniques, such as the Pomodoro Technique, to enhance his focus and productivity. By breaking his work into manageable intervals, he sustains his energy and minimizes distractions. This approach allows him to maintain his peak performance throughout the day. Michael's commitment to forced efficiency has positioned him as a reliable and effective financial analyst. By applying the law of forced efficiency, he not only meets tight deadlines, but also creates opportunities for professional growth and work-life balance. Readers can learn from Michael's example by adopting the principle of forced efficiency in their own lives. By prioritizing high-impact tasks, streamlining processes, and embracing time management techniques, individuals can accomplish more with the time they have available. Whether in finance or any other field, forced efficiency can lead to increased productivity, improved decision-making, and a greater sense of accomplishment. Chapter 8. Prepare Thoroughly Before You Begin In Chapter 8 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of thorough preparation before starting any task or project. Proper preparation sets the stage for success, increases efficiency, and reduces the likelihood of errors or setbacks. Let's explore how Maria, a successful event planner, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Maria's Story 
Maria is a renowned event planner who specializes in organizing large corporate conferences and high-profile social events. Her reputation for flawless execution and remarkable attention to detail has made her a sought-after professional in the industry. 1. Gather all the necessary resources and information before starting a task. When Maria takes on a new event planning project, she begins by gathering all the necessary resources and information. She meets with her clients to understand their preferences and goals for the event. She creates a comprehensive checklist of requirements, ranging from venue bookings and catering arrangements to audiovisual equipment and guest accommodations. By ensuring she has everything in place before starting the planning process, she avoids last-minute hiccups and maintains a smooth workflow. 2. Create a conducive work environment that minimizes distractions. Maria knows that a well-organized and distraction-free work environment is essential for effective planning. She sets up her office with the necessary tools, technology, and reference materials. She minimizes distractions by setting aside specific time blocks for focused work, and during those times, she refrains from taking non-urgent calls or responding to emails. This allows her to concentrate fully on the task at hand. 3. Develop a clear plan of action for each task. For every event she plans, Maria creates a detailed timeline and plan of action. Each task is assigned a specific deadline, and she prioritizes them based on their importance. This approach allows her to manage her time efficiently, ensuring that every aspect of the event is carefully executed. 4. Anticipate potential challenges and plan for contingencies. Event planning often comes with unexpected challenges. Maria is proactive in anticipating potential issues and planning for contingencies. Whether it's having a backup venue in case of bad weather or extra staff on standby for unforeseen circumstances, she is prepared for any scenario. This level of preparedness allows her to handle challenges swiftly and maintain a seamless experience for her clients and guests. Maria's dedication to thorough preparation has earned her a reputation for delivering exceptional events. By meticulously gathering resources, creating a focused work environment, developing clear plans, and planning for contingencies, she consistently exceeds her clients' expectations. Readers can learn from Maria's example by embracing the principle of thorough preparation in their own lives and endeavors. Whether planning an event, embarking on a project, or tackling personal goals, adequate preparation lays the foundation for success. By taking the time to gather resources, create a conducive work environment, and anticipate challenges, individuals can approach tasks with confidence and achieve outstanding results. Thorough preparation is a key element in achieving excellence and ensuring that every endeavor starts on the right foot. Chapter 9. Do Your Homework In Chapter 9 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and personal development. Doing your homework means acquiring knowledge, staying informed about industry trends, and consistently improving your skills. Let's explore how Alex, a successful marketing manager, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Alex's Story Alex is a marketing manager for a growing e-commerce startup that specializes in eco-friendly products. In the dynamic and ever-changing world of digital marketing, Alex understands the value of doing his homework to stay ahead of the competition. 1. Invest time in acquiring knowledge and skills relevant to your goals. Recognizing the importance of staying current in the field of digital marketing, Alex dedicates time to read industry blogs, attend webinars, and participate in marketing conferences. He makes an effort to understand the latest trends, strategies, and best practices in the digital marketing landscape. By investing time in continuous learning, Alex equips himself with the knowledge necessary to develop effective marketing campaigns for the company. 
2. Stay up to date with industry trends and best practices. Alex understands that what worked in marketing a few months ago may not yield the same results today. He monitors changes in consumer behavior, social media algorithms, and search engine optimization, SEO, trends. By staying up to date with industry developments, he can make data-driven decisions and adapt his marketing strategies to align with current trends. 3. Regularly assess your progress and make necessary adjustments. As a marketing manager, Alex continually analyzes the performance of marketing campaigns. He measures key performance indicators, KPIs, such as website traffic, conversion rates, and return on investment, ROI. By regularly assessing his progress, he can identify areas for improvement and make data-backed adjustments to enhance the effectiveness of future campaigns. 4. Seek feedback and learn from experience. Alex is open to feedback from his team, colleagues, and clients. He views constructive criticism as an opportunity to learn and grow. By actively seeking feedback, he gains insights into areas he can improve and ensures that he does not repeat past mistakes. Alex's commitment to doing his homework has contributed to the success of the e-commerce startup's marketing efforts. His continuous learning and dedication to staying informed about industry trends have allowed him to create innovative and successful marketing campaigns that resonate with the company's target audience. Readers can learn from Alex's example by applying the principle of doing their homework in their own lives and careers. By investing time in acquiring knowledge, staying informed about industry trends, and learning from experience, individuals can stay competitive and excel in their respective fields. Whether in marketing, technology, or any other industry, doing your homework is a key factor in achieving professional growth and success. Chapter 10. Leverage Your Special Talents In Chapter 10 of Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy encourages readers to leverage their unique strengths and talents to achieve success. Each individual possesses special abilities that can set them apart and contribute to their personal and professional growth. Let's explore how Sarah, a successful interior designer, exemplifies the major action points from this chapter. Sarah's Story Sarah is an interior designer with a thriving design firm that caters to high-end residential and commercial clients. Her ability to leverage her special talents has made her a sought-after designer in the industry. 1. Identify your special talents and find ways to apply them to your work. From a young age, Sarah had a natural talent for creating aesthetically pleasing spaces. She could visualize how different elements would come together to form cohesive and visually stunning designs. Recognizing her unique gift, she pursued a career in interior design to channel her passion and creativity into her profession. 2. Delegate tasks that are not aligned with your strengths. As her design firm grew, Sarah realized that she could not handle every aspect of the business alone. While she excelled in design conceptualization and client interactions, she recognized that administrative tasks were not her forte. She decided to delegate accounting and administrative responsibilities to a skilled team member, allowing her to focus on her core strengths. 3. Focus on tasks that bring out your best qualities. Sarah understands that her clients seek her expertise and artistic vision when they hire her. She prioritizes tasks that directly involve her unique design talents, such as creating mood boards, selecting materials, and overseeing installations. By doing so, she ensures that her clients receive the best of her abilities, leading to satisfied and repeat customers. 4. Embrace lifelong learning to enhance your talents. Despite her natural talent, Sarah does not rest on her laurels. She constantly seeks inspiration from art, travel, and design trends, allowing her to expand her creative repertoire. 
She attends workshops and design conferences to stay informed about the latest materials and techniques. By embracing lifelong learning, she enhances her talents and maintains her position as an innovative and cutting-edge designer. Sarah's ability to leverage her special talents has set her apart as a leading interior designer. By focusing on her strengths and delegating tasks that do not align with her unique abilities, she has built a successful design firm and garnered acclaim for her stunning and personalized designs. Readers can learn from Sarah's example by embracing the principle of leveraging their special talents in their own lives and careers. Whether in design, entrepreneurship, or any other field, recognizing and capitalizing on one's strengths can lead to greater fulfillment and success. By continuously improving their skills and focusing on tasks that showcase their unique abilities, individuals can create a path to a fulfilling and rewarding professional journey. Conclusion Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy is a powerful and practical guide to achieving greater productivity, overcoming procrastination, and reaching one's goals. Throughout the book, Tracy presents valuable insights and actionable strategies that readers can apply to their personal and professional lives. The major takeaway from this book is the importance of time management, prioritization, and focusing on high-impact tasks. By adopting the principles of eating the frog, creative procrastination, and leveraging one's special talents, individuals can improve their efficiency, reduce stress, and achieve greater success in their endeavors. For readers seeking further inspiration and personal development, several other books offer valuable insights in related areas. 1. The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. This book delves into the science of habits and how they shape our lives. Duhigg explores how habits can be formed, changed, and leveraged to improve productivity and personal growth. 2. Getting Things Done by David Allen David Allen introduces the GTD methodology, a system for organizing tasks and projects to enhance productivity and reduce mental clutter. This book offers practical techniques for managing workflow and achieving a sense of control over one's tasks. 3. Atomic Habits by James Clear James Clear examines the power of small habits and how they can compound over time to produce significant results. The book provides actionable strategies for building positive habits and breaking detrimental ones. 4. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey Covey presents a holistic approach to personal and interpersonal effectiveness. The book outlines seven habits that can transform one's life and foster a sense of purpose and accomplishment. 5. Deep Work by Cal Newport This book explores the concept of deep work, which is the ability to focus without distraction on cognitively demanding tasks. Newport offers insights on how to cultivate deep work habits in a world full of distractions. By reading these books in conjunction with Eat That Frog, Readers can further enrich their understanding of productivity, time management, and personal development. Each book provides unique perspectives and practical techniques to help readers unlock their full potential and achieve excellence in both their personal and professional lives.